Welcome back to the Rocket Shop, everybody. I'm Bob Maddox, the Rocket Man, and today is a big day because I'm talking about our diesel-powered twin Viper 100-pound thrust valveless engine today. Now, this is going to be the mainstay of our go karts uh, because a 100-pound thrust engine will push you, depending on your go kart and stuff, somewhere around 60, 65 miles an hour, which is just a perfect speed for go karts, and it pushes you around the dry lake bed at a really good speed. It's really fun. We'll be doing a lot of drag racing and circle track racing on the lake bed with this type of engine. So let's take a look at the diesel engine. So as you can see, all it is is two 50-pound thrust Viper engines, but I've cut a hole in them in the middle and welded them together, and then they run as a single engine because there's, little, there's four little one-inch holes between them, and it equalizes the pressure in the combustion chamber. Now, because it's diesel powered, you can't start it on diesel. You have to start it on propane and then turn on the diesel and then it takes off running. You can't, you can't just blow air in it or anything and start diesel, it just won't start. But I developed the instant start with the propane, so you just push a button, as you'll see at the end of this video when we do a test run. Push a button, blast the light, turn on the diesel, turn off the propane, then you're running on 100% diesel. So the injectors, or top and bottom in each engine, two in each engine. As you can see, the line is coming up right here from our fuel pumps that are down below. And they split and they go into each injector. So it draws air in the intake, mixes with the fuel that's spraying all the time, boom, explosion goes off. Hot gases rush out both ends of the pipe, but when the explosion starts to subside in here, the pressure goes down, the gases are still rushing out at really high speed out the top pipe. And that starts to create a suction. And that pulls more air in, mixes with the fuel, but there's so much negative pressure in there, it pulls some of the previous explosions fire up and it sets it off again. And that happens somewhere around 100 times a second inside this engine. So uh, that's where we get our thrust and that's why we don't need ignition. After it starts, it, it reignites itself. Okay, so that's the mechanics of the Maddox Jets Twin Viper engine. Now this is a production engine that I produce. You can buy this engine from me or you can buy it in kit form. All you have to do is just look in the text below. So now that we've gone over everything, let's go ahead and look at the build video. But make sure to stay tuned because at the end of this video, you know, I'm going to fire this thing up in the shop. <laughs> You're going to want to watch that.
Okay, I got my diesel powered twin Viper set up on the thrust stand. If you wonder how I determine how much power an engine makes, how much thrust it makes, you do it with a thrust gauge, and that's my thrust gauge right there. You read it from the other side, that's where I'll be standing. And that is going back here. I've got it set up, kind of jerry-rigged, but uh, set up so it can pull. It has to pull, you know, this one pulls 100 pounds of thrust. So that pulls on that. And to make the whole thing so it'll move, so it'll roll, I just put a couple of pipes underneath my, uh, the skids on my test stand. And then I ran a, another one forward, so when I shut the thing off and the uh, spring-loaded thrust gauge yanks it back, it won't just go rolling out across the shop. So, uh, I don't normally run any kind of an engine the size of this inside the shop because uh, it just tears the shop up. <laughs> Things fall off the walls and dust comes out everywhere. And, and if you're running diesel, after you shut it off, you know, a little bit of diesel will be left in the engine and it'll smoke and that kind of stuff. But we're gonna do it today. We're gonna fire it up today on diesel, pull it up to full power inside the shop. So here we go. Okay, here we go. Diesel powered twin Viper test run inside the shop on diesel. Yeah, boy, that was making more power than I thought the engine made. Um, it's diesel, so when you shut it off, the, the diesel that's in the fuel lines, it'll drip into the lower um, injectors and it'll get into the engine and that's why you get the smoke and that's why I don't do this in the shop. Okay, everybody, I hope you liked that test run because it sure tore my shop up. It took me about a half an hour to get everything back up on the walls and all the smoke blown out. So let's look what we're going to do next week. We're going to take our cool Viper engine and we're going to put it on this go-kart. So thanks for watching. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next episode.